Oh then, welcome to uh, ASA 18. Fantastic 2017 you had, but before we talk about some of the other aspects of it, let's just go straight to the end of 2017, Rally of Wales, your first victory. T tell us about that weekend. Yeah, obviously up until that point we'd had a, a pretty mixed year and uh, Rally GB was, was going to be an opportunity where we could, uh, you know, I think capitalise on on the performance of the tyres and, and we targeted it as a, as a potential for a good result. So we went in and, and gave it everything we had and uh, it was really nice to, to get that first win uh, in front of the home crowd. Um, what, what is the feeling when you finally get across the uh, finish line with, with your co-driver, you look at each other, the win's there, it must be unimaginable. Yeah, for sure. It took a while to sink in, to be honest. You know, uh, obviously you you're very focused on the job in hand, and uh, it takes a, a while to get out of the the rally zone, if you like, to start uh, taking the result in. But uh, for sure, it was a you know a, a great moment for us both. Now, obviously, the WRC has probably one of the longest calendars uh, in, through the year of, of any category. So you, you took that win. But how long did you have to sort of enjoy that before you were straight back in testing ready for 2018? Well, we had a final round in Australia. So, uh, you know, we had a, a couple of weeks to, to prepare for the next one. And, uh, and then we were off on the plane again. And, and that's generally the pattern uh, throughout the year. You know, we have a two to three week gap in between all the rallies. And normally there's a, a test field in there as well where we travel to and from. Uh, so we, we t spend a lot of year, days out to, uh, in, during the year. Looking at 2018, um, new livery on the car? It's looking quite interesting. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, the addition of a Red Bull to, to match Sebastian's car now uh, throughout the whole team. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've been a Red Bull athlete for, for quite a number of years already. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's great to, you know, have a, a car that's now branded as well. OK, and through the winter, what work has been uh, done on the, the Fiesta to bring it up to sort of 2018 to maybe try and find a bit more speed in the car compared with you know, the consistency that it had through um, 2017? Yeah, I think it's fair to say, you know, we had a fantastically consistent car throughout the year that performed very well on, on all the rallies. Uh, but I think uh, on certain individual rallies, we, we perhaps struggled for a little bit of outright pace uh, mm -hmm. in certain circumstances. So the guys have certainly been working hard behind the scenes. Uh, but with the regulations as they are, it's a, it's a case of making slight improvements in a few areas. You know, there's, there's no scope really for any manufacturer to make a, a massive leap. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that, uh, you know, we can maintain that consistency consistency and, and keep building on, on the good performance that we had in 2017. Okay. And how's testing gone? Is that, are you, are you now prepared? Have you got a bit more testing to come up this week before the Monty? Yeah, we did a, a short test just before Christmas uh, in, in the south of France and, uh, you know, we, I leave tomorrow actually to, to go again during this weekend to, to have a two-day test before the rally starts. So, uh, yeah, hoping uh, that'll all go well. Okay. And for 2018, what, what targets have you set yourself? You've got that win in now. Um, is it more wins, uh, more podiums, or are, are you thinking about championships? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's a case of trying to get a few more wins, a few more podiums. Um, you know, I would like to be more consistently on the podium this year, um, you know, after, you know, some strong performances last year, but uh, mm -hmm. overall a, a mixed campaign, I would say. So uh, hoping for more consistently good results, hopefully, in, uh, in 2018. And, and who knows how things will go. Uh, you know, we'll give it our all and uh, achieve the utmost we can.